Hello everyone, welcome back to Salar Khan YouTube channel. So basically the basic things we've, we've seen till now, the definitions, everything is done. Today, just a little shorter video to just understand a number of few things, uh, a number of few uh, names I would say that you would come across. Okay, so we talk about the plant capacity basically. So when talking about the plant capacity, we talk of different things that are you would have heard the names installed capacity, committed units, reserve capacity and we have a certain number of uh, terms associated. So first of all is the installed capacity. So the installed capacity is what that this is the overall capacity of the plant the whole number of units that this plant has that is what the units that are committed so it has got the committed units plus the reserve units right yes so committed means what committed are those which are taking the load which are supplying energy to the load at a time whereas reserve are those which are there to ready to operate but they are not taking the load there is no load demand for them right the load is being fulfilled by the committed units whatever the number of units may be for instance you ask an ipp i told you what is an ipp independent power producer you ask him for what is your installed capacity so they will tell you that this is my installed capacity i have 10 units they will not say that I have eight number of units that are operational and two are as a standby units. So no, the thing is installed capacity is the overall capacity that is present. So in, in, in terms of this reserve, you could say standby. Okay. So let's okay. let's let's have another word. So one one is a, a spinning reserve. Spinning reserve is a word used. Let's say I write what spinning reserve. So what is the definition of spinning reserve? That this would be a reserve capacity of the plant that is connected to the grid and it is ready to take load, right? Yes. This is the units or the capacity that is connected to grid and ready to take load which means what this means that you have that the, this is the spinning reserve is that capacity which is mechanically connected to the turbine it is mechanically connected to the turbine but it is not electrically connected right yes I have written over here mechanically rotated by the turbine mechanically rotating by the turbine but not electrically connected fine yes which means that it is in the operational state but the load has not been put on to it fine yes similarly you have a cold reserve you have a cold reserve Cold reserve is what? It is the plant reserve capacity that is in service but not in operation. So I would write this is the capacity that is in service but not in operation. This is the cold reserve. I will explain it through an example. Write the definition. Write the definition. And then you have a hot reserve. So hot reserve basically is a margin. Hot reserve I would say is basically a margin. What do I mean by this margin? So for instance you have a plant that can produce 200 megawatt of power. You have a plant, you have a plant that can produce 200 megawatts of power so if the plant is not operating yet you are doing what you are turning it on for instance you are making it ready for the operation 
it can take a load of 200 megawatt but it is not yet delivering it so that time this 200 megawatt this is the coal reserve of the plant <laughs> fine yes now if the plant is doing what if the plant is operational if the plant becomes operational and it takes a load and let's say it takes a load of 150 megawatts so it has taken a load of 150 megawatts which means it is connected to 150 megawatts this means that this 150 is the spinning reserve capacity that is connected to the grid electrically but but it is ready to take the load but yet it is not delivering the load right yes so which means what now you have a hot reserve also so the hot reserve would be what so this would be the margin that would be 200 minus 150 so the 50 megawatts this is your margin or this is the reserve or this is the extra load that you can deliver undesirable peaks can occur anywhere anytime in the system so you should have a hot reserve for that right yes so i believe this is clear basically so we talked so this is what i wanted to say so very short video let's say we extend it a little we talked about conventional plants we talked about conventional plants so what are conventional plants so basically those are three number one is from hydro the other is from fossil fuel and fossil fuel and the other one is nuclear so this comes in thermal right yes and the other one that we talk about the non-conventional ones or they were the renewable ones they are also called green energy plants or whatever they may be so the other ones are renewable right yes so the conventional plants are what they are used as base load plants they are used as base load plants and why are they used so because the base load is occurring for a larger period of time you have this you the the the, the basically the th uh, the thing that is making the source of energy should be available so hydro when we talk of the conventional we talk of a large mass storage we talk of a large mass storage similarly fossil fuel similarly nuclear so we we say that these are uh, these are there to operate the base loads right yes similarly and these one the non-renewable ones they are basically operated as peak load plants peak load plants such as the diesel power plants etc diesel and i've told you the gas i believe also in in the in the first video i have told you about this so these uh, peak load plants basically should have the property of quick start and quick stop why because undesirable peak can occur anytime so when you have a peak you should be able to fill its uh, to fulfill the load demand at that time so you should have a quick start plant and the peak load plants the non-renewable the diesel plants have this property whereas the conventional plants they take time to operate for instance you have you take of a you take up an example of a hydro plant for instance a dam our Warsak dam over here so it takes about half an hour 30 minutes to start operating when it is turned on right yes where is the diesel generator how much time does it takes okay similarly the runoff river plant then in hydro so when we have this mass storage where we utilize the potential energy of the water similarly over here we have the runoff river we use a runoff river uh, so in that we use the kinetic energy of the water and this we, we we include in this the quick start quick stop we include it in the peak load plants yes yes so uh, i believe this should be it I believe this should be it these I, I use some words potential energy and kinetic energy uh, so how do we use them so we have a separate videos on this hydro uh, hydro and then on on thermal okay so the major thing was this one that was just a time path the major thing is this one these terms are something that you you will come across these are the terms that you will 
come across. Installed capacity is the overall capacity, either operating or not, committed or standby, the sum of all, right? Then you have the spinning reserve that can take the load, that is ready to take the load, which means the thing is on. And then you have the cold reserve that is, you know, not yet ready to take the load, you could say, or that is ready to take the load, but has not taken any load in service, but not in operation. And then you have the, uh, the hot reserve, and this is basically your margin in operation, but not in service. Over here, you could say that this is in operation, but not in service is the capacity that is in operation but not in service and i have one other thing for you i also have one other thing so uh, the reserve capacity in terms of what uh, if i talk about the reserve capacity in terms of the maximum demand pm the the load factor fld and the capacity factor FC. So this is what I talk about. So basically the installed capacity is what? The installed capacity should be equal to overcome the maximum demand plus it should have something reserve. So which means that the reserve capacity has come equal to what? Uh, installed capacity minus the maximum demand. Isn't it like this? It is and uh, the installed capacity is the average load by the uh, FC P divided by FC FC is P divided by PC right so you know this FC is the capacity factor from the definition of this and this then you have minus the average load divided by the load factor so the load factor definition is average load over the maximum demand so now what can I do is I can take the average load common P I have 1 over FC minus 1 over FLD yes yes now i can do what p f l d minus f c divided by f l d f c right yes sir now what do i have uh, if i take f l d common if i take this f l d outside for instance so p divided by f l d into f l d minus f c divided by f c so which means my reserve capacity would come equal to what p divided by fld is the maximum demand pm into load factor fld minus capacity factor fc divided by capacity factor fc and this is the reserve capacity in terms of maximum demand load factor capacity factor so I finished this video over here. I am a little very much tired. I have uh, made two, two videos early in the morning while I was about to sleep. And then what to now? So I am very much tired. I will see you in the next video with whatever the topic may be. Till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Do remember me in your prayers. Do subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.